Hello everyone, it's Justine. I hope you're doing so well today. I'm going to be making a really fun octopus card with the small die of the month from Spellbinders. So let's just jump right in and get started. I am pulling in a few other items from this month's clubs. So just to start off, this month's die is the octopus and this one is called Dance an Octopus and Friends, which is just so fun. Yes, it dances, so just wait, I'll show you how that works in just a minute here. Then I'm also pulling in this 3D embossing folder, which is called Scattered Shells. It is gorgeous. I love it on this cobalt blue paper. It is one of my favorite papers. And I also pulled in the stamp set for my little sign that the octopus is going to hold. And let's see, I think that's, that is all. So three different clubs in one card. All right, well, let's start with the octopus because perhaps you are just looking at this video for instructions of how to make the octopus dance. So if that's you, hi, hello, and let's just jump right into the octopus. So. <laughs> octopus has three different parts it has this main part that has the face of the octopus on it and then it has four tentacles going down we're gonna glue that on top of the other piece that has the detailed tentacles like this right on top and line I'm going to line up the head first and the tentacles should follow Just kind of flip it over and then just lightly press down on each one so it is nice and straight. And this really just gives a dimension with colors. So, I mean, you could do the same color for this part, but I liked, I th I liked the way it looked having two different colors and having it have the dark yellow, light yellow, especially with the little spots on its head. So this is the main piece that is the octopus and then we have the little legs. Now this is the part that's going to dance. So I am going to just take my tallest seaweed. It's gonna be probably about that tall. And then just position my octopus. It's gonna go right about here. So I want my legs to go right about there. Now that's important because once I put my foam down this is not going to be moving so to make the octopus dance you need some kind of foam to put in this circle now I'm going to use these foam squares from Spellbinders they're the two millimeter small pieces so that's what I'm going to use here you could also pull in a foam square from a card kit like this one it would fit in there as well I'll just show you see it would fit um, but I am just going to use the little one and I'm actually going to put two together just to have it have enough dimension for my liking. So I'm just going to peel off the release tape, stick two foam squares together, and then I will put this little stack in the center of that circle like that. And now this back piece of the legs does not get glued. No glue. Then the head goes right on top of that foam piece, right like this. I'm actually gonna put it lower so the head lines up with where the other tentacles are gonna come out of. And I'm actually gonna also put some foam under behind the head so it doesn't sag down. And again, I'm gonna layer two foams on there so it has a lot of dimension. This little guy is supposed to be alive and dancing, so let's make him stand out. Okay, I've got my two pieces of foam, and then I'm just gonna take my reverse tweezers and stick that behind the head, right about there. Now I am careful to not put it too low, so it's not going to affect those circles. So you can see that there. It's just gonna stick just like that. Just wanna make sure you can see. <laughs> like that. Okay, and that's it. The octopus is able to dance now. So it's kind of hard when it's flat, but come on. <laughs> there we go. See how the legs are moving? 
over to the side, over to the side. I actually can go all the way around if I did not put that foam on the top. So that's another reason why putting the foam on the top is good so it does not go uh, 360 unless you want your octopus to really be dancing. <laughs> so there you have it. Now Spellbinders has done other dyes like this in the past so if you are just loving the effect that this dye gives go ahead and check out some of the links I have in the description. They had a whole bunch from Halloween that was called like the dancing ghost and the dancing mummy and they had a whole bunch of them last summer ish time and that was really fun to work with so if that if this interactive die is your thing check those out if you haven't already and they had I think some like Mother's Day and Father's Day cards like that too. So I'll just put some links in the descriptions. If you're interested, check them out. If not, okay. <laughs> okay, I'm going to have some glue here on the side. Some glue here on the side that I'm just going to use the pouncing method for just to get some glue on the back for quick gluing. But um, this way I'm not gluing every single little seaweed with my... Um, glue bottle and yes some squirted out on the sides but we're gonna cover it up and we're gonna make a little scene down here so it's okay I did pull in some of the coral dyes <clears throat> as well as the starfish so this little octopus has a nice scene to live in I'm basically going to be repeating this process over and over, just pouncing the piece on the glue and adding it on. So I am going to speed up this section of the video and just show you the end and just show you what it looks like after I am all done gluing these little pieces. Then I will glue on, then I will figure out how I am going to be putting the sign on the octopus. <laughs> Gluing on all those little pieces is definitely one of those trust the process moments where it just looks a little funky and then as <laughs> I kept going it started looking a little better so just <laughs> bear with yourself if you are like me with the placement of it all or you could plan it ahead which is totally doable as well but I did not do that. Okay, I want the octopus to be holding the sign. I think I want it to be kind of in both of his tentacles on the top here. I think I'm going to just stick it kind of like that. Right about there. Yes, that's what I like. Okay. <laughs> just to give you a little update on life, I don't know what I'm going to be doing the day that this video is released. I currently have been called to serve jury duty so <laughs> I I could have some time here on YouTube where I don't have videos I hope that that's not a thing I will do my best if I get stuck on a trial or something I have no idea what to expect never been called but I have been told that I need to be available so maybe they'll just tell me that they don't need me I, I don't know but if they need me I'd like to serve on a jury because I think that is um, good to be doing um, a civic duty if you will and be part of jury duty so that's wonderful now I'm gonna pull out some of these little pearlies because I think that that would be kind of neat to have a pearl or two on the card I don't know what size would really make sense though I think that's a little too big if you've watched some of my videos recently you know how I feel about how these are all mixed up if you did not watch that video, um, spoiler alert, I am not amused that these are all mixed up, but that is life and I don't know. I think it's kind of a bad design of this gem, the, the holder, but it's also kind of my fault because I bumped it and it just spilled everywhere. So partially my fault, but also rough design in my opinion. I mean, really, the top part is, like, going really low, and mm, anyway, stop 
complaining. Anyway, everything's fine. We're fine. We're putting gems on. It's great. Okay. <laughs> but a little embellishment is always fun on cards anyway. So, and yes, since they're all mixed, I am putting them back in mixed as well. And no, I am not taking the time to sort that because, I don't know, maybe you have time to do that. I certainly do not. But anyway, here's my little dancing octopus. I'll just kind of give him a shake sideways so you can see his legs move around and he's dancing. It's kind of fun. I will resist the urge to put googly eyes on his eyes, although I really want to. You know what? I'm just going to look and see what that would look like. I think I have googly eyes here somewhere. Okay, here are some bigger ones, but these are far too big. So I'm going to grab some. I have some in my backpack downstairs that I bought recently that I need to bring to my classroom. Um, as a kindergarten teacher, googly eyes are a staple. So I'm going to go grab those real quick and then we'll see what they look like. Um, if I like it on a card, on the card, I will put them on. If I think it looks dumb, they're not going on, but let's just check. <laughs> okay, these googly eyes are super, super tiny, so let's just see what they look like. Okay, I love it. <laughs> I'm doing it. <clears throat> I just feel like it needs a little something, you know? <laughs> He's already got silly legs, so let's give him fun eyes. Okay, I, I love it. <laughs> okay, perfect. <clears throat> Masterpiece complete. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and maybe learn something or just had a good time with me crafting. I love hearing people say like, oh, I just have your video on when I'm crafting and I just feel like that's just so fun. That's how I started crafting too, by watching other YouTube videos and I still do that. The, to this day, um, I don't have a ton of time to watch a million of them, but I do watch um, certain close friends of mine. But anywho, um, Shout out to Nancy Stamps and Melanie Smith and Not Afraid of Color. Those three particularly are ones that I watch a lot of their content, so <laughs> there's that. But, um, oh, and Yana, of course Yana. She's like card queen. <laughs> um, but anyway, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you are interested in this die set, go ahead and check out the link in the description below. Thanks for watching. Bye!